War Story with My Father Any dream as long as it begins with treacherous, with mercy born back and restless from the fingertips inward if I'm lying through my teeth, at least I still have the long way home. If this is where my father ends, at least I still have his hands for ransom. I say, you are every reason I cannot blink any more, and he says you can't blame me for all this gasoline. It's enough for the knife and the tongue. After him there are no ways to make dusk small again, no method to serenade grief soft enough for the streets to swallow. You can't undo glory. You can't force a home to unwind and fix itself. My mother tells me that my father only yells because he is afraid. Finally, something we have in common. I see the hurt in his eyes when I flinch as he tries to hug me, and I want to say it's not your fault, but all that comes out is I swear there was a time when I didn't starve in this language. Mm -hmm. Dislocation in car window, and my father spins creation on the rooftops, all my little achings with no sleep to dampen. I've only ever prayed to avoid rescue. My father grins out a hemorrhage, blood behind his eyes, all black and narrow, a night extraordinary with all its heart. I say, these are dangerous times to be a daughter. He says, enough with the metaphors. You're making your mother sad. I speak in vowels without oxygen to spark a murder. Fury is just as human as fear, and every girl I've ever brought home tells me I have my father's smile. I'm beginning to understand why, even in sleep, all hospital car parks remain full of hope. Home is not my father's hands, but the light they reflect when burning.